Welcome to Real Foods. <laughs> Let me make this one look really big for you. Look at that. He marked well too, which is kind of funny. But back on Real Foot with my buddy Elliot and uh, you know, having fun. Beautiful day, bluebird day. What's the water temperature? Uh, 80, 81. 81 degrees. It's a shallow lake, lots of stumps. We're gonna be vertical fishing. I'm gonna show you the live scope system that he has rigged up here and uh, give you, maybe it's something you'd be interested in. He's definitely got a unique setup. So we're gonna go over that today and uh, show you some, hopefully some big fish. So thanks for uh, watching. Please subscribe and uh, Elliot's gonna put it, put us on the big fish today. So smash that subscribe button. Bam, see, he's a pro already. Maybe he'll get a YouTube channel here shortly. Do you have a YouTube channel? I do. You do? What's it called? Wicked Coot Adventures. Wicked Coot Adventures. That's the same name as your guide service, right? Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies. All right, so while Elliot finds us a big mark, he's found a big mark. I'm gonna let him drop on it with this pink Ozark rod he's got. He says it's his wife's, but I'm not quite sure about that. But 100% mine. He'll tell you the story all about that. But anyway, I wanted to show you his setup. So I'm a big believer in the trolling motor. Transducer for live scope needs to be on the trolling motor. But in a stump field like this, I can totally see the advantage of having it on its own independent, you know, rod. It's an own independent pole. And he's got a little kind of a, a do-it-yourselfer uh, something here rigged up. He'll, I'll, let you, I'll let you tell him about it. Yeah, so it, it's really custom to what I needed. Um, what I needed was something that was gonna stay in the same place so my hand knows where to go. Uh, so that's one less thing I have to worry about because when you're hand dialing the live scope, you, you've, gotta, you've gotta reduce the things your head's thinking about because it's a lot going on. Uh, that's why a lot of people like Matt, like the trolling motor, it's a lot less going on. You focus on your rod and the trolling motor, that's it. Well, I've got three things. I got the rod, my trolling motor, and the hand dial. It can be difficult, uh, but once you learn it, I can hit the spot lock button and sit on a fish for an hour if I wanted to. Um, if he's an important fish during a tournament, that fish could take me 20 minutes and I don't have to touch my trolling motor. All my focus goes into the rod. I don't have to worry about anything else. Uh, turn. Anyway, another setup, something to consider. Looks nice. You could do a YouTube video just on that. Just do like a, a build of one of those guys. Shout out to the guys at work that uh, got me that super strong epoxy at the end of this thing. <laughs> it broke one time. It ain't breaking again. <laughs> All right, let's get some fish. There you go. There he goes. Boom! Pink rod hookup. Good fish, man. Awesome fish. So he got that pink Ozark rod because he was at the Grizzly Jig Show. I was in the booth. And his wife eyeballed that pink rod. Show that thing on, that's a good fish. And uh, well, I just, I had to sell that rod. And so uh, Elliot, he had to buy it and uh, he's got it and it's putting fish in the boat, which is awesome. I love this rod. Yeah, it's a great rod. There you go. Oh, how does he not go for that? Tail was just a flip in the side. Boom. And I was slow. I was slow to react. Strike two. That's strike two. Oh, I about pulled a rookie move right there. They're just short striking this one. This is the Darbone. They've been doing that the past couple days. I can't. Oh, that's a money. Come on. Here, Here he comes. comes. Boom. I'm going to catch the one beside him. You got to go ahead and catch his brother. Good job. Yep. <laughs> How, does that, How does that not get bit? Oh, oh, oh. There he goes. So you guys need to check out his guide service. He's definitely putting us on fish for sure. Well, that'd be a crispy piece right there. That'd be, that'd be good. 
So folks, this is kind of late in the afternoon. We've got sun that's high, we've got hot water. So these fish are getting a little bit more finicky, but you know, we were fishing a lot of roaming fish, just like you saw there on live scope, and we just had a ball. Now we had about an eight mile an hour wind. We had extremely warm temperatures, sun was up high, and uh, we have about an eight mile an hour wind, like I said, but we had a great afternoon on Real Foot, located in Tennessee. You've got to check it out in the heart of the Midwest. They've got some great resorts on the lake for your accommodations. And uh, you've got to check out Elliot and his uh, guide service. We had a ball. Uh, today I'm fishing with the uh, 12 foot Ozark Rod, three pound fishing elite series. You can check those out at ozarkrod.com. Perfect, I'm fishing with the 12 footer. Now there's a 13 and there's the brand new 14. I didn't bring the 14, but I got the 12 footer. Check them out, perfect jigging rods on lakes like this. There he comes. Man, this is the big fish. Oh yeah. <laughs> we called that from 40 foot away. <laughs> That's a good fish. That's awesome. That was awesome. There was what, three fish there? I got the small one and you got the big guy on the bottom. That's nice. Bob passed right by that other little one. Yeah. That's a good fish right there. Bam! Real foot, baby. Oh, you got one. Oh, little guy. All white crappie. Do you have many black crappie here? Mm -hmm. Does it matter? How, I mean, is there a different way of catching them? Got to go shallow and got to have a lot of time on your hands. For the black crappie? Mm -hmm. I know some fishermen that are excellent at certain times of year and they will, they will out catch me for sure with a jig pole and in like six inches of water. Yeah. It's just coming a show down there for you. They like I can't hit the mark. They like the little bee. There you go. I guess he scratched it. There he is. Good. That was the best fish out of him. Elliot's Guide Service, they do eight and four hour guide trips, correct? Correct. Yeah, so give them a call. I'll put the information on the screen so you guys can hook up with them. No giants this time of year right now. Well, there are. You just gotta hunt them down. Yeah. So left, left. Yep. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> He's putting on a clinic, folks. I'm a big fan of this, this fish right here. I don't, a lot of people don't like it. Do you, That's do you That's cook yours on like a griddle ever? No, I don't usually do it on a griddle. I think when I was cooking a lot of fish, I would cook it in different, several different ways. Mm -hmm. I, I black skillet, griddle, all those type of things. But now I pretty much primarily fry it if I'm going to eat. But I, we just, I don't do too many uh, fish fries. We're, we're big in uh, health. We, we go to the gym all the time. And my wife loves to put it on the griddle, season it up real good, and it gets like a little crisp to it. Oh, that's good. And the smaller fish, not too small, but small enough, is full. Oh, they're prime. Oh, they're so delicious. Yeah, so when we talk about keeping fish, I always keep the small ones. Yes. I always keep the small ones. People are like, do you need to throw that back? No, I'm take that home and eat it, I promise. <laughs> so so the fish in here at Real Food is primarily structure. There's roaming fish also between the structures. But uh, today they're roughly anywhere, I mean our big fish today came at roughly three feet, but they're eight to 12 foot down in depth covered this on this lake or not, but you do need a uh, preservation, I think it's preservation. A preservation permit. A permit to get on the lake to fish. You also need a, uh, obviously a Tennessee fishing license. Ramps are free though, and there's ample amount of them. Elliot's such a cool dude. He brought water and sandwiches. <laughs> you gotta stay prepared. Does that come with the guide trips? Uh, I provide ice and water. Wow, that's very nice. Yep. And a good time. Always provide a good time. That's very nice of you. 
That's pretty cool. This is a, what, a 20 foot? It's, it's the biggest Stratus ever made, 22 footer. This is a 22 footer? Yep. It's a big boat. It's a barge, I love it. Especially, uh, you ever fish Pickwick? Mm-mm. Man, you've got a lot of lakes to go have fun on. I don't get to travel as much as, other than the trails. The trails are always interesting because I get to see new lakes, which mm -hmm. is cool. But you've been doing it for a long time, so you've had, we were talking about traveling and how far, I mean, he's got this fantastic lake, but he travels, you know, the Kentucky Lake, Barkley Lake, and. So if you guys, I don't know if, if you saw the other episode, you know how me and Elliot kind of met online. He sent me a message saying that if I was ever in the area to give him a, give him a shout out, well, I happened to be passing through and I remembered that message and I, I uh, texted him back and sure enough, boom, here I am on real foot. On real foot, all from a comment. <laughs> all from a comment. So You never know, people, just shoot your shot. <laughs> you just have to tell me where you're at. I mean, I do want to travel. I want to do stuff like you're doing. I mean, I want to experience new lakes and this is the, you know, the first time I've been on real foot and I'm impressed. My favorite question when I get to work on Mondays is where'd you fish this weekend? Oh, that's cool. Oh, here it comes. Boom. Hey folks, thanks for joining Real Foot Baby with my buddy Elliot. Putting fish in the boat. We're gonna go catch some more. There you go. Thanks guys, please subscribe. What a day on Real Foot, that was fantastic, man. It doesn't get any better. This place is awesome. And uh, I totally recommend visiting Real Foot and taking a, you know, a guide like Elliot is, is uh, absolutely incredible to have out here rather than trying to experience this on your own. And I think it's important because of all the structure that's out there, but great day on the water. So thanks to Wicked Coots Guide Service. Check out Elliot and the Guide Service. Fantastic guy. And I'll just tell you, he will put you on the fish. And folks, we will be back to Real Foot. There's not a doubt in my mind. This lake is roughly two and a half hours away from my home base and uh, just a great fishery. So check it out and uh, do me a favor, subscribe, support the channel and uh, yeah, we're going to be doing a lot of traveling around the Midwest, and we look forward to sharing those experiences with you. Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies.